Our next tech tip is about VLANs and port types. If you're not familiar with VLAN, this is a simple way to segregate devices on your network. It stands for Virtual Local Area Network. Some popular use cases include creating a guest network or isolating IoT devices like cameras or smart switches from your personal computers. The issue. Recently, we assisted someone using VLANs on their Peplink Balance router that was also connected to a Wi-Fi access point. The access point was connected to the default or what Peplink calls the untagged LAN, but anything that tried to connect to the access point through any of the VLANs was getting a self-assigned IP address. This means the network was not properly handing out IP addresses to allow devices to connect. The solution. We checked the port settings on the router to see how the port types were configured. Options are either trunk or access. Ports were found to be set as access, which means only one VLAN was functioning. However, since the access point was configured with multiple SSIDs using the VLAN tagging, it caused confusion with the addressing. The port type simply needed to be changed to trunk and the VLAN then set to any. This way the access point could connect wherever it needs to. Keep this in mind when configuring multiple VLANs on your router, Wi-Fi access point, or managed Ethernet switch. To reiterate, use access if you only need to assign one VLAN per port, say if you're connecting to an unmanaged Ethernet switch or access point with one SSID. Use trunk for when you're needing to manage multiple VLANs through one port, that is, if you're connecting to a managed Ethernet switch or access point with multiple SSIDs. For more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel.